In this video, we'll discuss about how you're gonna lazy load a component, not the module, the component in Angular 9. And it's possible thanks to Ivy. Before starting a video, I just want to request all you guys that you know we are going through a very critical phase right now and due to the pandemic situation all over the world, we are facing a lot of problem right now. So only only solution and which we can do is to stay indoors so uh, do work from home and this is especially I am saying this for the college student, university students. I think if your university is closed and if you are in home, then it doesn't mean that you, know, you just go and play with your friends. So it's time, a very crucial time to stay at home and be safe and learn something. So when you keep on learning, so it will help us to tackle the upcoming challenges. So after this crisis, when it gets over, we are going to face a lot of challenges. So prepare for that and use this time wisely. So hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithms. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. If you heard about lazy loading in Angular before Angular 9, that means it's the lazy loading of a module. So what you have to do is with the router, you lazy load the whole module so that the, your bundle size will be less for the initial load for the user or for the client. But after release of Angular 9, we can lazy load a component and we're going to see how to do that. So I will just create a project here. So ng new and the, the name is lazy component. We don't need the uh, router, we uh, got the CSS. So we got the blank project here right now. And if you want to see, if you haven't uh, checked Angular 9, the, the landing page is awesome. So I will just show you here. So you can see if you already seen this, that is not new thing for you, but the landing page is awesome. Now you can get all the commands here, how to do all these things, but we don't need this. So we're going to remove this thing. I just want to show you and the icon is also changed. So what a lazy loading means is lazy to be loaded. That means when you call or when you want that file or the package or the data, it will load to the browser. Browser in the case of Angular and it will be remain same for all the scenario where you have lazy word in it. The lazy loading of a component, lazy load means that component will be append to the DOM. So it can be happen in two types. One type is like if you can go here, you just, okay, I'll just remove all this. So oh, one type will be whatever component you have load, it will just load here. Okay, so after the your DOM finishes, the, it, it will just uh, append the whole data to the end of the DOM and that will get loaded. And another one is you can add the DOM in between two components. It means in between two data you have. And I think that is useful both are useful depends on the scenarios okay so we're going to see both the scenarios so first we'll see how you're going to lazy load the component in the last of the dom means uh, after the h1 okay so we'll go ahead and create a component that will be lazy loaded so there is some tweaks here i'll show you now so so we don't need the imports because we don't need uh, it to be imported or declared anywhere because we are going to lazy load it and we don't need the selector as well. So we don't going to skip those things here. So now if I go to the component, you can see here, we don't have the selector. And if you go to the module also, it hasn't been added in the declaration because we are going to load it lazily. So as I told you, first we're going to see how you wanna lazy load the component and which will be loaded to the end of your DOM. So to lazy load a component, you need two things. One is view container reference and a component factory reservoir. Component factory reservoir is a factory design pattern. So uh, it will create the object and give it to you. And on the view content reference means uh, to the reference that is your DOM. So in this case, uh, for a reference, for a raw point of view, I'm saying this uh, H1 here. So you get that reference and you are gonna add your DOM to that, okay? So I'll just go ahead right here.
we need a method so that which will trigger the lazy loading of the component but you can do it in on init also but if you are doing it in on init that is a, that will not be good because it's just by default it will come a, come as a load but it's according to the requirement and so we'll create a uh, method so so first of all so what you we want to do is we got our dom we got our reference so the, the, this is the view container reference what we'll do is first we'll clear that reference okay so we'll go ahead and write that one so just hit clear and it will clear means suppose you have multiple component which need to be lazy loaded suppose think like you have a tab kind of system and on click of one you are just lazily loading it lazily and you are displaying it so for that you need to clear the reference so that you can add the new one else it will be keep on adding in the bottom so now we'll import the component we'll have a const variable import the component that is a little bit start lazy lazy comp a then the component and it will it you need to be awaited and for that we need this thing we got our component here so now as i told you also so what we need to do is we need to insert our component to to you to our view reference by using the factory the factory here is component factory reservoir we'll just uh, use the view container reference and that it has a create component method in it And this is how you are gonna insert your uh, component to the uh, module. So what you have to do, you need to call this method. Okay, so we'll go to the HTML. So we have a button and that button is a load and we'll call on click of the button, we'll call that method. Okay, so I'll just uh, write the method here and we'll go to the browser we'll save everything now we'll go to the browser and here when you click on the button we'll see that the component is added here in added means added in the dom and now we will ask okay this can be happen in a normal condition also so we'll go ahead and see it's lazy loaded like we saw in the lazy loading of module videos now if you just keep an eye on the network tab okay so i will just make it larger when i click on the load just keep an eye on that we'll have a js here and which has all the data we need okay and this got loaded but if you keep on uh, clicking it will not load obviously because uh, it's already added to the DOM. so this is how you're gonna lazy load a component in angular 9 but this this method will be append to the end of your dom it will be helpful in some scenario but we want a component need to be loaded lazily in the top corner of the page i'm going to see how i'm going to do that if you remember one of my video and that is about dynamic component allocation we're gonna use the same kind of principle here but with some little tweaks in it i will just add a variable here and i'll just give that as a lazy component and the type of lazy comp should be a promise of and type of uh, lazy components we just need the type of that and the promise will return a type of your component so i will just go ahead and comment uh, this thing for now uh, i will give a proper comment which is for what uh, in the repository means in the, in the repository in the github and by the way the github link will be in the description below please go ahead and check that one after the video We'll just go ahead and check. So we're not lazy components, so this is not added. So after that, what we'll do is we'll just assign that uh, lazy component to our new component. So we'll just import the same like what we did in the previous step, but as this is a promise, and this will assign the component to our component. So when you call again, it will not going to load it again. If you remember, we have used a directive called ng component outlet. That we're gonna use it here. And in that content template, we'll just use the ng component outlet. And that component, we're going to assign our new 
uh, our lazy component okay and as it's a promise we can give a pipe called async pipe and we'll give a ng if here when you have the component then load that one okay so previously if you notice that the load components would get loaded uh, in the in the DOM after the DOM that means after the button but here if you click on that it should be get loaded between high and fun of heuristic so okay okay something wrong here I'll just go okay I haven't saved the thing here now we'll go to the browser again again if you hit load you see the component is get added in between the DOM so keep an eye on the network tab so when i will hit the load we got the our js file and it's got loaded in between the dom so this is what a lazy load with using the ng component outlet so that's it for today guys today we saw how you're gonna lazy load a component in angular and this will be awesome because uh you going you can do a lot of things so previously you are depend on the module so if you want to lazy load a single component you have to create a module a lot of things are there you just create a router a lot of things are there here it's very pretty simple just two line or one line of code it depends on if you have put an enter here then it become two line but yeah it depends on us okay so just two or three line of code either you can add in in the end of the DOM or you can do it as, uh, as shown here by using up ng template and ng component outlet. So please hit the like button if you are liking the video till now and please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be get notified whenever I will put a video and please share this video among your friends, family, colleague, everybody should use the component lazy loading. It's a very exciting thing by angular 9 and iv so by using this your bundle size can be very less and this can help the client to download less amount of data in the start of the application so we're going to meet in the next video till that stay happy stay in home bye bye